What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are down at River Oaks. Gonna have dinner at Roca Okor. Probably said that wrong, but we're gonna have some sushi. Gonna take a buddy out to eat. Have a good time. But before so, we're gonna do a quick speed test down at River Oaks in the parking structure of Roca Accor. So without further ado, here we go. All right guys, so first up we got Verizon on the left, which is rocking ultra wideband. Down here it says 5G there, but up here you can see the little ultra wideband notification on the iPhone. And on the right we have T-Mobile, which is sporting. Take a look here, what band we're rocking. N71, that you can see right here. N71 on uh, T-Mobile. Get a close up there so you can definitely get that in. Boom. Now let's uh, see how they fare here. All right, Verizon on 5G ultra wideband coming in at 257 download, 2.72 upload. Uh, pretty decent download, but for ultra wideband, it's not not very impressive, to be honest. I mean, it's, that's great speed, don't get me wrong, but for ultra wideband, that should be a little bit faster. By a little bit, I mean a lot bit. Looking at T-Mobile, 38.6 uh, down, 30.9 up. Uh, decent download speed. I will say their upload speeds are very, very impressive comparative, comparatively to AT&T and Verizon. So there we have T, or I'm sorry, Verizon and T-Mobile. Now let's compare AT&T. All right, guys, so now we have AT&T, which is showing a 5G logo. Speed test is also showing 5G, which is their low band. All right, so AT&T on low band 5G, 50.2 download, 25.7 on the upload. So pretty decent. All right guys, and now for the LTE comparison, we have on the left here, Verizon, you can see it's showing LTE, LTE. And then on the right, we have T-Mobile, same thing as you can see showing LTE as well as up there. So now let's see how LTE speeds compare. All right, so LTE for Verizon, 73.1 download and 10.5 upload. LTE for T-Mobile, 68.7 download, 34.0 on the upload. And just comparing these guys really quickly, you can see Verizon, clearly ultra wideband is a better way to go for download speeds, but their LTE is showing a little bit better on the upload side. And then on T-Mobile, their LTE network is actually 
almost double in terms of faster than their 5G network in this location and their upload speed is a little bit faster as well. So conclusion here, if you have T-Mobile, definitely switch over to LTE because you're gonna get better performance at this location. Now let's find out AT&T. All right guys, and now for AT&T, as you can see, LTE is turned on and it switched to 5GE, which is LTE. And let's see how the speeds compare. All right, for AT&T on LTE, 83.7 download, 18.8 upload. And then comparing the results here, you can see that AT&T's LTE network is faster than their 5G at this location. And their 5G network in terms of upload is gonna be a better way to go. So if you have AT&T, I would also suggest turning off 5G at this location. All right guys, that concludes today's video. As you can see, uh, Verizon was the clear winner with their ultra wideband network down here. Interesting to see that AT&T and T-Mobile's LTE networks outperform their 5G networks at this location, which is River Oaks at Roca Accor Restaurant. Hope this helps. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, take care and peace out.